Flickermeet is just a group of Manchester photographers who all use the Flickr website and all get together for social purposes and to do joint photography projects and today we're on Tip Street in Manchester. Flickr is a social networking group for uploading photos uh, for sharing. It's, um, well, a lot of groups do but the Manchester group get together on quite a regular basis um, to just enjoy each other's company socially. We are people who use the Flickr site on the internet and come together as Manchester UK Flickr group. Very good way of introducing new friends into your life with common interests and actually exploring the city. Uh, with the Flickr Meet, uh, it brings together a lot of people from different backgrounds with different experiences in photography. Some are actually semi-professional, some are professional photographers and the advantage of uh, Manchester Flickr group is we meet regularly, might be once a month. Brilliant way to get together and again it's about meeting people in different backgrounds, uh, you know, different age groups. I think a lot of times you, as a photographer you can almost sort of disappear behind the camera and you know the camera becomes your eye and because of how you hold mm. it becomes your face. So photographers can be quite faceless so it's really good to have a social thing where you actually interact with each other on a on a one-to-one -one and group basis, it's fun. For me, it's just a, an opportunity to take photos with other people taking photos. Like the security of having other people taking photos. Sometimes, I, you know, I'm still getting conf trying to find confidence in taking photos out and about. And when I'm surrounded by other people doing it, I feel more confident about you know, sticking my lens in places, sort of, you know what I mean? Yeah. And at the same time, it's great to meet other people who are interested and got questions about things, you know, there's always someone you can ask. I mean, it certainly helps um, you get to know your people you meet on Flickr a bit better and uh, it also helps because then when you're just walking around town you bump into people you've met on Flickr before so yeah it's a good way of staying in touch. We meet up say once every month to uh, have a natter and catch up with uh, what we've been doing photographic wise in, on the past month um, and then we break up into little groups and uh, walk around Manchester to take pictures. Meet up afterwards for a, a few drinks and exchange stories of what we've been and where we've gone. I've met loads of uh, new friends on here and uh, not only through um, contact through uh, the here, uh, through online as well. Well it's a, it's a group of amateur photographers and professionals that meet together on a regular basis, especially the Manchester group, uh, just to go around taking photographs, talking about photography and having a few beers. Absolutely, it's a great reference point of where Manchester's come from and today we're photographing how Manchester is today and I suppose you can link the two and perhaps see where Manchester's going. I mean some of the history, I mean it's just absolutely amazing looking back in time. You, uh, one, of, one of the other guys was saying sometimes you take a photo and you don't realise what value it's actually going to have until you see it 30 years down the line. Just seeing the, the way that different people work and the way that photography's changed. The thing that's attracted me today is the um, is the link with the um, the, the photography anchor. It was something that, uh, that that I'd known about beforehand, but it wasn't something that I knew how to access. Yeah. Um, so so I found found it um, very interesting that um, that the staff at the archive used um, Flickr as a, as a as a medium to. Um, um, to talk to people and to, and to connect with them. I was browsing um, the, the Flickr pages last night and this morning. Uh, uh, I would certainly, I, um, I found out today that there's a way of browsing the archive online. I think, I think I've got that right. Um, and I'd certainly be interested in, in, in coming back and um, you, know, you know, looking at some of the, um, um, the archive work that's here in more detail. I think, um, Something else that um, it, it, it's important to, to remember about the archive is, you know, one thing that, that, that really did attract me is uh, the quality of the um, of, of the work that, 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 that's there. You know, in, in particular, um, to see work prints and workbooks by uh, by the likes of Martin Parr and Paul Rees. You know, these are in internationally renowned photographers, and it's fantastic that we've got access to this work within our local archives. It was an interesting insight as to how those records are being kept so it was an experience worth having. Um, I did have an idea of, of the archives but I didn't have any idea of how um, or the extent of it but I didn't realise quite how much stuff they've got. It's absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed looking at some of the stuff there. 
until it came up on the Manchester group on Flickr, I didn't know it existed at all. So uh, this was that this sort of this event and uh, Flickr was the first time I ever heard of it. No, it's the first time I'd heard of it. That that was there. It was available for you to go in and just have a look at and uh, use. And... I knew it was there, but uh, I'd never been inside. So it was interesting going in. It gives you lots of ideas. I mean, I'd love to recreate some of the older shots in using modern technology. Some of the some of the buildings in that, especially there was one particular one in there um, that I'm determined to find out where it was photographed. I'm interested in the Manchester Archives Flickr site, which is full of all sorts of historic records uh, and helpful in just as we're doing today, looking at how it was in the past and going out and taking photographs now because that's all we can do now. I think it was quite inspirational to see the, some of the images. It's really nice to see some really nice natural looking shots of uh, people going about their business as well, which is good. Being in the archives today and seeing stuff like from the 80s, that's definitely inspired me. It, you know, it makes you realise that a lot of stuff that you, uh, is just what you take as sort of, I don't know, domestic photographs can become really um, amazing, important as time goes by, you know. I think that's what I liked the most was all the sort of, like, what would you call it, like snappy, happy snappy photos. It's really great to see those of Tesco's and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, it certainly means I'm going to be trying to revisit some of the places and uh, see if I can, you know, take the, uh, the before and after mm. shots, uh, to provide the after shots to help build the archive. I had a, a cousin who owned a cafe once on Tib Street uh, called the Dolphin cafe and uh, so I wanted to find that and they had a picture of it when it was called the seal the white seal uh, and he changed the name to the dolphin so it was interesting walking down and taking pictures and finding where that actually was oh yes definitely uh, I think it's a good it's a good way of um, if we like we could say have a, a meeting and then say we'll go to the archives, uh, pick something out and then go and do a series of photographs like we've done on Tib Street today. I would like to use it sometimes but it's having the information as to when it can be available, how to use it. I find it quite fascinating to look at old pictures of places and see how places have changed. I think social documentary is, is a really important thing to take part in and, and keep going as well. For me, I find it a lot easier getting the stuff on the internet, on Flickr, you know, uh, obviously it's nice to go down when it's stuff like the, uh, like diary entries and books and stuff, it's great to actually see it hands on, but for photographs and stuff, I find it really easy to go through stuff on Flickr, and definitely, I mean, uh, since I found the Flickr archive, Manchester archive, I've been looking at it quite a lot. Yes, very much so, because, um, like I said, I just wasn't aware of the archive's existence, and um, by joining Flickr and getting involved with the uh, other local Flickr groups have certainly brought it to a much wider audience. There will be plenty of us who wanted to arrange more Flickr to come and use the archives and go from there. I can see me using it again, um, especially for... Today we've done Tib Street, but uh, I'd, I'd like to do other areas of Manchester, go into uh, the archives, have a look at the pictures that they've got there, um, Remember where they was take go to the place and take a, an updated picture, just just for my own satisfaction, and maybe uh, hand over the pictures to the archive so they've got a reference of an updated picture of what it is now.